Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Automation. Get my volume right. Today is going to be a really exciting day for me, at least, because we're going to be building a pickup truck. I've never, never built a pickup truck in Automation before, so it's going to be completely new to me. And I know nothing about pickup trucks. I don't know anything about the engine sizes, really, how much horsepower they should have in comparison to torques, fuel economy. I just, I don't know. It's going to be a completely new learning experience for me. Hopefully, we get something close to right and i've got some web pages to help me on along a little bit if we go on body type here and we uncheck all the ones that we don't want and just leave the pickup truck bodies apparently this guy right here is a pickup truck i agree <laughs> 1995 convertible pickup fine no worries now i'm from the uk so our pickup trucks are a little bit different to the us ones you know in my mind i think in most uk people's mind i would imagine these two to be like your american ones you know your dodge rams and stuff like that and these sort of bottom three, to me, seem a little bit more European. They're a little bit smoother body shape. Now, my fiance currently drives a, was about 2015 now, 2015, 2016, Ford Ranger, which has a very similar body shape to this four doors and everything. Uh, but before that, she had a Mitsubishi L200, which is a little bit of an older one. It would have been around that 2003 era that we're aiming for here. 2003, 2003, 2003. 85 is a bit too old, I think, uh, for what I want to do today. And I like this one. It's got four doors. It's just a nice variant to start off with. I'm not sure if they have other variants. Do they? This one oh, it has a two-door version if you want to. But I, li I like the four-door. We're going to go with a four-door version here. Now, it's a pickup truck. So it's going to be doing a lot of off-road. So we don't want it to corrode too easy. I want this to be like an expensive-looking one. Look at the wheels clipping into the chassis there. That'll probably fix in a minute. Um, I, I want it to be pretty corrosion resistant. It's going to be a pretty expensive pickup truck. This isn't going to be like your everyday workhorse that you pick up for a few hundred dollars or pounds uh this is going to be like a brand new one uh you know fairly modern day let's go back to 2003 so we don't get penalized for our body shape and stuff so we're going to go with the panel material of corrosion resistant steel a ladder type chassis because it's going to be doing a lot of off-road and uh, we'll go with galvanized steel chassis material so it doesn't uh get all rusty too quickly the engine placement you know i really don't know I, like most modern day cars will have a transverse engine and more older cars have a longitudinal. That's a 2003, so it's relatively modern, but it's a pickup truck. I'm going to go, I'm going to go with longitudinal and if it doesn't fit, we'll try transverse. We can only go with a double uh, wishbone for the front and for the back, we want something that's really good at off-road. Now off-road, can you see that it's like the uh, fourth from the bottom? Uh, we want high load capacity. We want high off-road. Uh, Cargo volume, I think, is for boots and stuff, so we don't need to worry about that. Uh, so we've got plus plus on that one. One plus and triple plus for the load capacity. Okay, so it's between those two. Now, that will give us more off-road ability, but this will give us more load capacity. Now, it's a pickup truck. You probably want load capacity on there. So we're going to go with a solid axle leaf. We're going to leave all the quality sliders at zero. We can even have like a... Um, uh, like an SUV style one as well. That's pretty cool. But no, we're going to go with a... F it's been in a crash. <laughs> we're going to go with the uh, SUV sort of one here. Oh, uh, uh, we we got to fix the car now. There we go. There we go. There we go. It's not buckled or anything anymore. Good. Oh, the front's a bit buckled. There we go. Okay, we're back to a, a more modern looking shape. Now, I've got some Google images to try and help me along here a little bit because I'm not a huge like truck guy my other half loves her pickups um but uh i i like the comfort of a car a little bit more i'm gonna go with a little bit more of a boxy sort of front it leans back a little bit see that uh and then we want probably some decent room for the engine in there because it's longitudinal so we need to try and make as much room as we can while also keeping some cab space now the back doors on the old l200 that my fiance had were really quite small they were about that if not a little bit more uh, but I'm gonna go with something so you can get into the back a little bit easier. What can I change this one? Oh, oh, I like that I like the sort of door shape that we get out of there then we do obviously use up some um, Pickup back space, but I think for utility unless we move that forward and then drag that back a little bit I like the door shape of that. I like I like the little curve that we get on it We take up some boot space there, but that should be fine Okay, and then oh, we could always extend it like that now, I'm looking on the pictures here, and come on, come back. Not that far. Okay, so that's minimum. 
I'm going to give it a little bit more, like, like give back what we took away here, and then we either hang a little bit there. I think that'll be good. For the wheel archers here, we're going to want to flare these out a little bit. I think more, mostly for design than anything else. I think that makes them look a little bit smarter. And for the colour, we're probably going to want to go with some sort of, yeah, metallic silver would be great, I think. Can we do anything cool with, like, the, um... Oh, you know, that could work. If we go with, like, a silver... Uh, no, we'll do, like, a plastic. I want darker plastic than that. I want, I want like, that colour, but, like, in a plastic look. So that's too shiny. I'm going to modify that one, and I'm going to... Why is it, like, so shiny? I don't get... Why is it so shiny? Oh, okay. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to take... I'm going to put some shine in it to make it darker. That I think that's a plasticky looking one. Save and close. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into this body and make it like the gunmetal grey look. Like this, and then do the bonnet the same, and then we get like a little plastic front bumper that they, used to, well, at least my old L two hundred or Kelsey's L two hundred had, at the time. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, trim slots. I don't know what changes on it. Oh, it's the windows. No, we'll keep those on plastic. They weren't nothing special back then. It even does the inside there. Yeah, no, I'll go with that. What about that one? It's a little bit darker. Maybe a bit too dark. Steel. No, it's too light. No, we'll go, we'll go with the plastic look. I'm happy with that. Wheels, we'll leave how they... Well, I suppose we can put the wheels on, can't we? I mean, what... They're probably the right wheels, to be fair. I don't want any of, of those wheels, do we? They're probably about right. And you know what? Having steel sort of coloured wheels is probably going to be what we want. Now, this is the fun part, because I've never built a truck before. Headlights. Now, the L200 truck sort of had square-ish looking headlights. I mean, these sort of work. They're a little bit old-looking. If, my, if you can hear my puppies crying in the background, I do apologise. Everyone's gone out and it's just me. And I played with them for a little bit to try and calm them down. But they they always want more. They never quit. <laughs> play. Most playful puppies I've ever had. Okay, I like being able to see the indicators from the side. I hate those lights, though. I really do dislike the look of them. No, you know, I, I just don't like how they look. They, they look too van style. Um, like something like that could sort of work for what we want, but hang on, what if we go into tail lights and then we change the colours? Could that work? Is that something that, like this is like almost the L200 shape if we modify it. Oh, it looks so weird. It looks really weird. What if we flip them upside down? So this is where you've got to get clever with them. Now, now they're curling the wrong way. It looks pretty cool. You know, I might angle the bonnet back a little bit as well. And then, oops. No. This has got a bit more of an angle on there. Nope. Nope, I don't like it. Um... Oh, it's so hard to get the right... It's always the trickiest part of designing any car in this game is the headlights. I don't think that there's, like, a, a big enough range of, of lights for us. I mean, they'll, they'll work on it, I suppose. Let's try these ones. They'll work on them, but... Nope. If I get rid of the... Uh... Oh, nope. What is that dark colour? Yeah. I mean, that looks smarter than the other ones did. Extend them up a little bit. What does it look like from the side? Way too wrapped around. You know what? I'm going to have to go with that. We're going to have to, like, get moving on this because uh, there's a lot... <laughs> a lot more to go. Uh, for the indicators, what we're going to do is we're going to use this one. And I'm going to place them down here. And then I'm going to get rid of the red and make them orange. And I'm going to leave these white ones in there because that's the, like what they've got on the picture. Like, they're the little spotlights in there. And we'll put a grill behind it. Or vent, they call them in here. We want a nice sort of thin square vent. Nothing too special going on. Something like that would do, I suppose. And then... Nope. 
Oh, there's a different colour. Slightly. There you go. Now they all match. That was a bit picky. Okay. So I have that behind there. I like that. That's perfect. And then we want a large grill to go down this middle. That's going to just come in a little bit. Something like that shape. But flipped upside down. What if we put that like a chrome bit in the middle? That's a little bit more modern looking. Flip it upside down. Make it bigger. No, it's more like that. I like that. A little bit of chrome down the middle there isn't going to harm anybody, is it? Okay. A little bit taller. I'm going to go with that. And then what we do is we need to have like a triple one behind, underneath it. Square ones. We put that one in and we make it thinner. And it goes like a, a, or we've got a big one and then two thin ones. Whoops. Control Z. Like a big one. And then we'll shift click it down. Make it smaller. Smaller again. And then another one below that. Okay, I like that. That's pretty good. Then we're going to have the number plate. On there. Now hopefully it doesn't clip through and it looks okay. It sort of it clips through a little bit, but nothing that I'm really worried about. That's about what we want. I could move it up. Get it right out of the way there. Or we put it up there. Or we put it in the middle there. I'll go with that. I like that. I think that looks the best. Okay, little logo in the middle. Uh, I can't do my Z unless I put something behind it. Because I need to, uh, yeah, something like this. Put that in the middle there, just so we can place the Z on it, and then we'll be able to see it. Oh, up a little bit. Glitchy. And then the Z goes in there. Boom, we have the front. I think that's about right for the front. I don't think we need anything more on that. I think it looks pretty smart. Uh, bonnet. Where's the bonnet? Uh, which one's bonnet? There we go. No. Where's bonnet scoop? Scoops. There we go. I want a bonnet scoop, right? But it'd be really cool if we could have it. Yeah, we can do it off to the side like that. Uh, now, that's just what it was on my old L200. That's what it is on, like, a lot of the pictures. The bonnet is sort of not flat, unfortunately. Uh, maybe it won't work then. See, just look, it does look cool like that. Most of the time, these bonnet scoops are in the middle, but on the pickup trucks, they, they can be off to the side for whatever reason. You know, I'm going to go with that. I think that looks pretty cool. It's a bit of a shame that it's on the wong, but that's the body shape. We, we can't affect that, unfortunately. All right, let's pop around to the back then. We're going to want some real lights here. And, I mean, something slight, like, use those and just resize them. Okay, I'm happy already. Can I get it over a little bit more? I'd like to get it just so it doesn't touch the boot. Go on, just squeeze it over a little bit more. A little bit thinner. A little bit thinner. Why isn't it going thinner? There we go. A little bit bigger. You know, I like that. It's nice and simple. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the chrome. Which chrome is it? This one. Uh, go with like a body color. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think there's no problem there. And then we're going to go with some round ones. Uh, I'll probably have to go with headlights and then change the color, I think. Go with this one. That one's perfect right there. Yeah, absolutely perfect. And then if we change that to be red, not that one. What one do I need? This one. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta get the right sort of one. And put those down there as your little rear fog lights. Uh, we want uh, bonnet hatches and stuff. We'll go through that at the end. Can I put a bumper bar on the back here and make it look cool? Like if we make that body colour. Because I don't like having the chrome. That much chrome at least. Yeah, no, that's cool. Would it look right with one on the front? You know, 
I think that looks pretty cool. It sort of goes nicely around um, the rest of the body there. Gives a bit of protection. I think that looks cool. I think that's very truck-like. Now, now we should go through everything else that we haven't done. So we're going to want a nice modern-looking indicator. It's 2003. We'll put it about there, I think. Make it a bit smaller. We're going to want... I've got my grills. I'm happy with the front. I don't think the front really does need any more, does it? Unless we change the grid pan to something a bit more. See, that's what we had. That's quite cool. That's even nicer. I think I like that one. Put the grill pan in there. Mm-hmm. Good. Uh, we're going to want to have vents all done. There's no vents on the back or anything. We've done the bonnet scoop. Uh, with... Do we need any, any, like, lines going down the car or anything? A lot of these L200s were two-toned. Um, so they were a different colour on the bottom than they were on the top. But I can't really see any, like, cool lines or anything that we could put into it. I suppose we could do one on the back, maybe. Oh, that's a lip. Uh, where is that? That's in... That one. If we line those up with the, the lights, the middle of the lights... That could work. So a little bit thicker. And then drop it down. Body colour. I think it has a little bit more detail to the back there that we wouldn't have had otherwise. Let's see what it looks like with one down the side here. Drag, 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 drag. And then line it up with the brake. I don't know if I'll be able to get it completely close because of just how it works. And get the indicator to be in line with that. Maybe not being straight. Maybe we need to angle it forward to go with the body shape a little bit more. And then bring it down. Oh, nearly. Nearly where I wanted it. Perfect, 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 perfect. Yeah, I'll go with that. Let's mirror it. Yeah, it's on both sides now. I like that. That's definitely added a little bit more to it. Anyway, carrying on. Don't need any spoilers or anything like that. Uh, fuel. I'm pretty sure it's like somewhere here or something, isn't it, on her truck? I can't remember. I'm, I'm sure it's somewhere around there. I'm sure it's like here. I've never I've, ne I've never filled up her truck before, so I don't know. We'll, we'll put it there. That looks about right. For the handles, we're going to need a handle on the back side. Uh, something like square and simple. Like that. Do I like black? Or do I like body colour? I think I like the body colour. I think I look smart. It's a perfect handle for it too. I even like those handles, I think, for the sides of the vehicles. It's about right for the area. Unless there's something similar, but... Maybe that one. Yeah, I think those ones will look good on the sides here. So put those in there. And there. Boom. Door handles in. Looks fine. Mirrors. Big square mirrors. I think we want ah, a nice two-toned one. Matches the uh, black of the uh, bumper. Nice big mirrors. That's about scaled right, I think. It's in the right place. Very happy. Uh, aerial. Uh, for this era, I think that would have been about sort of what, what you want for it. Tick. Number plate on the back. Now, where did it go on the back? It goes, like, right near the bumper bar. I'll put that there. I wish we could change the colour of that to, like, yellow. Um, I've seen people do it before in this game, but I can't seem to figure out, like, how they do it. Unless they make it custom, or maybe it's a mod or something like that. I don't know. Okay. Uh, we'll put... Where do you want the logo? Probably, like, in the middle of that. It goes behind there, though. Do you, you don't have the logo off to the side, do you? Unless we do it like... Like there would work, would it? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. And then you'd have like two litre or whatever. There's a cool decal though. Where are the decals? Um... Where, which one? Uh, there, there's like a mountain. And it'll be, yeah, perfect for us, look. Yeah, I think that's just a nice little, like, like touch on the back there. Definitely. 
Uh, okay, badges are all done. We don't need to worry about that. I like having such a simple badge. Exhausts. Have a nice exhaust underneath here. You sort of got to place it down and then move it to where you want. So I want to move it forward a little bit now. Can I? Can I grab you? Are you stuck? I got you. Okay, I can't move it forward anymore. It's just going to have to be there. I'll probably put it off more to the side. Yeah, cool. Like it. Uh, and then that's about it, isn't it? We I mean, can write turbo on the back because it's cool to have turbo written on the back. It probably will have a turbo engine. Now, we do have a bit of a problem now when it comes to actually doing the engine. YouTube pickup. Uh, turbo. Because, we'll just call it turbo. Um, because these engines in pickup trucks are usually diesels. But in the game, all engines are petrol. They don't have diesel. So that's going to obviously affect performance and it's going to affect um, uh, eco economy and stuff like that. Now, I've got a little bit of help here. Now, this isn't going to be a replica video of a, of a car. I think we've got that next episode or something. Uh, but I do have some decent stats for us. So we're going to go with an inline four, which is what I'm using a 2003. Is it 2000? I don't know what year it is. Probably around 2003. Anyway, we, I'm using a L200 um, like blueprint for this. So I know that it's going to probably... Is it going to be aluminium? It doesn't say the material. Yeah, it's expensive and lighter. I mean, why not? And then we're going to go with dual overhead cams and four because that's what it had. We'll match the head material to the block material. And the uh, capacity here, it's got a bore of 86. Is that going to be millimeters though or inches? That's going to be millimeters by 105. So I'm going to need to have, uh, hold on, inch to millimeter. And we're going to want to do 86 millimeters is 3.38. So I need to have 3.38, 3.356, 7, 8, and 105, which is 4.1, which is way up here. 4.1, ooh, it's getting high, 4.1. So that'll give us a 2.4 litre, or 2.5 litre. On the game, yeah, 2,442 is what it actually gives. Uh, we've got 2,415, so we can like bump this up a little bit to try and match it. 2,442. Bang! Okay, so we've got like as close to the capacity as the VL engine has. Uh, we'll leave VVL off for the moment. Uh, we're going to want to have some decent torques here, so I'm probably going to go. Well, we're going to go right up top. We don't want to go stupid expensive. But yeah, we're going to want torque over, uh, over RPM. Torque, and this goes a little bit more expensive then. Ford should be good. It gives us a bunch of torque. Leave that there. Compression. Do we have the compression? Uh, compression, compression, compression. 15.5. I don't think the game goes up that high for us. Yeah, our game only goes up to 15. I found that a lot when I've been doing replica cars in the past. Like, the compression in real life is higher than the limit in the game. Uh, so, I'm going to actually drop that down. I'm just going to have it, like, high-ish. Um, and and we'll go from there. Cam profile, we'll leave how it is for now. Move on. Turbocharger, just because we can. We'll upgrade it to a ball bearing. And for the moment, we'll put a large one in. We can always drop it down. We'll stick it on. Well, they probably have it for to help with fuel economy more than performance. We'll stick it on that for the moment. We can always tune it back up and, and, and change it. Now, it is injection. Common rail injection. Mechanical electronic common common rail injection probably like what is the horsepower on it? Does it have the horsepower? I'm trying to like look. Oh, they've got it in kilowatts though. I don't have. I don't know what kilowatts is. Hold on, I'm gonna have to convert that so I know what I'm looking at. Kilowatt to horsepower. And they say 113 kilowatts, which is 151 horsepower. So. As long as we're getting 151 horsepower, we should be fine. Let's do multi-point. It's modern. Single. We don't need to go to 993 horsepower. That would be insane. We'll stick with standard. And we'll run it on regular slash pre. Let's go premium fuel. It's a nice truck. You're going to want to put nice stuff in here. Uh, we'll leave that where it is for the moment. We'll leave that where it is for the moment. We'll leave the RPM where it is for the moment. And we can only do short cast headers because of the uh, turbo that's attached to it. 
We'll stick a bigger exhaust on it. High flow. Uh, battle, battled, or probably reverse flow, reverse flow. It doesn't really matter. Okay, we're knocking. Of course we are, because we haven't probably set this up at all right. I have no idea what I'm really doing with these. So if we drop the compression down. I don't really want to drop it down, though. Uh, we could lower the ignition timing. I don't want to really do that too much. Give a little bit more there. Definitely don't like that curve. Okay, we're going to have to drop the compression for the moment. Just so it gives us a starting point. Uh, oh, really? It needs, it needs a large. We were right on there, at least. Uh, I can probably help the knocking. Yeah. By bringing down the boost. Alright, we're on 248 horsepower. Which is way more than the 151 that this car that we're trying to get close to has. We're like 100 horsepower over. Let's just double check on the torques though. So I'm going to have to have another calculator up. Newton meter to uh, foot per pound. Because I run on foot per pound here in the UK. And they say 380 whatever that is, at between 1,500 and 2,500 RPM, 380. Uh, calculator, I need a... Huh? Why? Uh, pound. I just want... There, there isn't a calculator for... Okay, I found one, I found one. 380, hold on. I'm on the other monitor, which is why I can't see it. 380, convert to pounds. 280. Okay, so we're a little bit low. We're 225. We need 280. So we need more torque and less horsepower. How on earth do we do that? I have absolutely no idea. Here we go. We're getting up. So adding up the compression. Ah, oh, but yeah, we're, we're knocking though because of it. Okay. So we've brought down the horsepower a little bit. 236. 214 though on the torques. We need more torques. More torques. 218. If I put on VVL, that'll give us this bar to change. Okay, I can't go lower than that, but that seemed to help a lot actually. That's put us down back down to 140 horsepower. Oh, because that's because we're knocking. I can't put the cam profile any higher than that now, though. I'm going to leave the compression there, and we're going to drop down this to stop the knocking. Okay. 221. What do we need? 280. I can't. I, I don't know how I'm going to get that much torque out of this. I could change it to performance to help out with three. That would be ridiculous to do. Now, torques. Talks, talks to 32. A little bit of tuning. We're, we're, we're ruining the bar here. Probably don't need that much. Oh, pump the boost up now. Oh, 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 oh. 235. Um, I only need 150 horsepower, so anything above that is just bonus. We put this up. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. It says that it's the the torque peaks a lot earlier than us. Their torque peaked between 1500 and 12. They, their torque peaked like there? How do they get their torque to peak there? That could be to do with it being a diesel as opposed to our game, which is petrol. So we're just going to go with like the actual values more than anything. I can't do that before this starts knocking and starts giving us that warning. That gives us an extra talk. Oh, <laughs> I found a bar that we didn't check before. I've, ah. Okay. Okay. Here we go. 280 is what we want. 270. Ah, we got the 278. There's 278 horse... Um, 
foot pound there. Uh, how can I get another? Ah, uh, okay, there's there's one more. Uh, uh, it's so close. I can't do that. It puts a warning on. Definitely need that. I can't restrict that. Ah, come on, one more. Nope, wrong way. Nope, that's bang on is what we need. Nope. 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 I mean, I could do a quality on something, and that might help, like if we done it on here. Nope, that's not helping at all either. You know what? I'm happy with that. 268, we're, we're way over. We're like 110 horsepower over, and we're one torque under. It's probably a terrible engine for this vehicle, but uh, it'll do. This sounds pretty truck-like, apart from the um, turbo tss that it does. Okay, uh, we're going to want 4x4. Or we could do all-wheel drive, but 4x4 is probably going to be better for us. Uh, we're going to go with the manual. Six speeds, so it's nice on the road. Now, the top speed on this car, apparently is a 0 to 60 in 12.2 seconds and a top speed of 105. 105 sounds about right to me. Let's say that about 105. There we go, 105 miles an hour. That's the sort of goal that we want to hit. If we can beat the 0 to 62 time, then great. We should do with all the horsepower that we've got. Uh, the same displacement as well. Uh, what else have we got on here? Oh, economy. Um, we're looking for... <laughs> the top is 8. Eight miles per gallon. Uh, okay, I'm sure we could probably beat that. Suspension and steering. This website's got like everything about it. Okay, anyway, we'll leave that where it is. We're going to want something really good for off-road. So we're looking at the off-road. There you go, plus three on the manual locker. Uh, chunky off-road tires would be great. It's not great for on the road, but for off-road, it's great. And uh, I don't know how thick we want the wheels to be. Do we want them much thicker than that? Like, do, we, do we just max them out? Or, or not max them out, but like go 225s two, two on, on both? I like having the both the same tire width on the front and the back so you can rotate the tires around if, if you start getting low on tread. 19 inch wheels seems about right for that sort of car. They look, you know, in proportion. We can always bump these out a little bit. Oh, that looked a little bit too big. They look nice and chunky. Alloy wheels. Alloy wheels are always nice to have. I don't think we need to stick the wheels out at all. Maybe on the back. We could stick them out by 10. And just squares them off. Squares the car off a little bit. Uh, we're going to go with solid discs on the back. We'll just go with those. We'll bump those up for the minute. We can go huge, 15 inch. And on the back, we'll do something a little bit lighter. They're probably going to be underpowered, actually, with all this horsepower that the vehicle actually has. We'll find that out in a minute. Uh, what do we want? Under tray. Oh, yeah, we're probably going to want an off road skid on there. That can all stay the same. Five seats. It's always nice to have like the three in the back there. Uh, I mean, it's a nice truck. We could go with premium, but we'll go with standard for now and then go from there. We're going to want a CD player in there. Now, we probably want to have decent power steering on there. Trash control and ABS. I don't think we need um, the top one. And we'll go with ad uh, advanced 90s, a uh, standard 90s. Why isn't there zero zeros? Why haven't we got base or, or standard 2000s? Okay, well, I suppose the truck wasn't great on safety there. Uh, we're going to want something great for off-road. I don't know what I'm looking for here. Like, active comfort apparently is the best at off-road. Why not, then? Sportiness and comfort. I probably want to have semi-active, then. Stick it on the off-road preset. That'll give us a good start. Well, we're in the right area. I mean, the top one is off-road. It's a terrible market, a terrible score, but at least it's in the correct category. If that came up with convertible premium, uh, then we would have probably have been in trouble. <laughs> okay, uh, now, I don't know what... We'll have to see, like, why... In fact, I can do that now, can't I? We can see, like, why in off-road that doesn't like it. So if we go into off-road... Okay, so it's not enough brake reserves. Let's fix that first. 
Oh yeah, boy was it right. Three pistons. Is what it wants. And it likes having some break reserves. So I'm gonna I'm, I'm watching the markets here. Just watching the number go up until it doesn't go want to go up anymore. Okay, it just wanted to max out. Does it like having two? It likes a load of pistons on the back? Really? I know it's starting to go down. It's too much. It's getting that right sort of point. That's not affecting it at all. What about the bias? Doesn't affect the markets at all. I'm not going to worry then if it doesn't affect that. Uh, stick it back on a 60-40. Okay. So now we get plus 0 0.2. Perfect. This one, gear count, we get a plus 4. But the gear spacing, we get a minus 4. So let's... I suppose they're going to want it more down this way. 75. I saw 75. But what way was 75? Okay. Point one is where it wants to be. So gear spacing is still zero. Uh, it's still minus one point three percent. My dogs, man, are driving me nuts. What if I? Nope. Okay, it likes it likes to go a little bit faster. Seventy five point four. Nope. I'm sure there's a better one, a better number than that, wasn't there? Nope. 0.4. See, that ruined the spacing again, though. It, it, it liked it earlier, but I think that's better. We get a little bit more top speed now. We've got, oh, 130? <laughs> Maybe that's a little fast. Let's, let's, let's do, like, 124. I think that sounds reasonable to me. There we go. And then it's a little bit better. Okay, we'll go with that. Uh... Minus 10% on the overhang for off-road. That's because of how far the back sticks out. If we uh, bring that in. Okay, we've just ruined the um, the sideline though. Can I fix that at all? Okay, yeah, we can. Beautiful. Cool. Uh, go back on here. Stuva hang still is 10%? I don't get that. We've just dropped it back. <laughs> Sneaks. <laughs> okay, suspension and wheels we're fine on. Oh, that was a horrible sneeze. Uh, rims we've got minus 3% on, but I like having the alloy rims on there. So that should have bumped us up. Eh, still 75.4. 70, okay, so there must be something else going wrong then. Uh, utility. Torque, I can't seem to fix. I, I, I can't seem to get more torque earlier on. Um, that must be something to do, like, we, we must have started off in the wrong sort of position. Like, we've got a really nice sort of torque increase here, which is great. We just need it earlier. We need it really low revs to be able to, like, go up hills and steep hills and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, I can't seem to get it. These are green. These are lovely. Bonus for um, interior. I... Uh, like passenger volume that's all good i mean we get a little low on an engine idle for some reason does it not like to idle sounds good at idling to me anyway anyway uh fuel economy what do we get 13.7 so we're like way higher than the eight that it was wanting for uh, or that the car that we based off it was that had eight we've got 13 so we're like coming up to double but I reckon we could probably fix this uh, a lot better. Like, it definitely likes that. It definitely likes the six gears because we saw that earlier. The off-road definitely likes the off-road wheels. Obviously. Okay, and it liked a little bit thicker. It, it, it went up quite a lot there. What if I go up on the wheel size? Nope. Down on the wheel size? Nope. Up on here? Okay, I saw a... 0.9 I had it a lot better than that We had it at like 75 didn't we? Oh there we go 75.7 I want to try and get Ah you know what it'll be 
You know what it'll be? It'll be the flares. We haven't got enough flare on here. Let's pull that out. And pull that out. And then we can get bigger wheels on here. Yes! Okay, apparently not quite as yes as I thought it would be. <laughs> I, I was expecting, like, more of a yes than that. What do they look like? See, that, that seems about right to me. But it's not as high as we had. We had like 75.8, didn't we, at one point? Something like that. I always vex it when you change that. I hate that about the game. It, like, as soon as you change the tire diameter, it wrecks the stats. And like, you had it at high, and then it goes and changes it. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's looking meaty now. I like that. We're going to stick with that then. Uh, brakes are all fine. We don't need to worry about that anymore. That's going to be fine. That isn't going to affect anything. That isn't going to affect what I actually dropped it. Nope. Braking is fine. I'm not doing anything with the quality sliders. Premium. No, it liked standard. I don't mind dropping these or increasing those if they need to, but nope. Oh, that helped. It liked electric power steering even better. I like that. And it likes good safety. Every car seems to like good safety. Oh, 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 oh. It's getting more expensive, but I like the point three there. Okay, this must be where we're going like really wrong then. Nope. Okay, it likes that more. Off road. I don't know. I think I, I think I'm about as like. As, as, as good as my skill goes, I don't know enough about off-road cars to make this like any better than this. The uh, stats aren't great, but I suppose we have to remember that we've built a car that can do off-road, but is also viable on the road, like as as like a, a A to B car, a commuter vehicle, as well as being able to go off-road if it needs to, which is what like most vehicles now of this type are. If we went all out all out on off-road then we would have chosen a different body shape and not a pickup truck uh, we would have gone with an actual sort of off-road one that that they preferred nope so like if I just keep going up of course it will so it like it loves going off-road now okay how ridiculous this doesn't look oh it doesn't actually look that bad yeah no it's fine yeah if we went with like uh... nope fine there right uh, if we went with like a, a short wheel based vehicle with no overhang, uh, you know, built for off road, we'll have a look at the designs uh, in a little bit to finish off with. Test track. Just see what it sounds like when it goes. You know, it accelerates well. What is the not 68.3 seconds as opposed to the 12 one that we were setting a guideline for? So it's faster to 60, it's got a better top speed, and it does off road, as well as being a good, uh, or fairly good drive about vehicle markets what if we change place no 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 definitely liked it there for what cost 17 and a half thousand that's cheap that's really cheap for a vehicle like this you know i'm actually pretty happy what did they go around in uh one minute 42 was that one minute 42.3 you know i'm happy with that we can't really complain too much um Detailed stats, yeah. Drivability is too big. Uh, it still doesn't like the torque curve. We shouldn't really be looking at this stuff anyway because this isn't for the this isn't for the car that we sort of built as such, is it? What about utility? Because we went for utility a fair bit. We've got some decent greens on there. It doesn't like we've got brake fade apparently. We can fix that. More. Still more. 
And we're losing some in break reserves now as well. Um, break phase 0 0.4 as opposed to 1. That would have probably help the stats. 81.1. Good. All right. I'm going to go. I'm going to stop there, guys. What we're going to do is just take a picture to finish off with. Uh, picture. Where do we want to go for the picture? There isn't really like an off-road area. Um... There isn't really an off-road area, so we'll just go to the factory and have like a, make it look like a working truck in the background. Uh, hoists. Put that up so it doesn't blur me eyes out. Yeah, look at that. That looks pretty cool with the, with the parts behind it like that. Okay. Uh, filter. So that's too dark now on there. Time of day. Get a nice shine on the bonnet. Nah, we're going to go with no filter today. Alright. Snap. Got it. Let's just sweet see before I end off the episode. I know it's a really long episode today. But what would have been a better off-road body to go with? Let's start as modern as we can. See, that could have probably worked well as an off-road vehicle. That could have worked well as an off-road vehicle. Because of how small the Uberhangs are. It's good for climbing up steeper inclines then. And uh, yeah, that would have probably helped quite a lot. It'd be interesting to try and go with like a mini and see how good we can make it at off-road. That would be an interesting bonus episode maybe that we could do is like make a car that shouldn't be in that category go in that category. Yeah, that would be cool to do. Alright, if you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you want anything, feel free to subscribe. Next episode, we are going to be building a replica car. So we're going to go similar to how we did today, but try and get it proper as close to as we can. If you enjoyed it, oh, I've done that. See you later. <laughs> Bye.